three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Away we go. And this is what you expect. Emulsifier overpowering these two smaller bots, slamming them into the walls. So much tr Wow, look Whoa. at those hits. Beautiful hits there from Polly of the Polyester team. Mm -hmm. Polyester are upscaled versions of two very dominant three-pound bots, uh, Polywog and Silk. And that looks like a belt hanging uh, there off of Esther. But the weapon's still fully functional on Polly, and definitely still fully functional on Emulsifier. Look at that hit. Oh my goodness. Esther, I think, completely disabled at this point. I see some wheels laying on the ground in the arena. Yeah, it oh. might be difficult for them to get back into this match, if at all. Polly hiding under the robot, trying to do some damage to the undercarriage of Emulsifier. The geometry works out pretty beautifully for Polly's uh, drum, where it is able to kind of knock Emulsifier back with those exchanges. It's true. Oh, there's a oh. wheel and a track gone from the left side of Emulsifier. Yeah, that tread is very crucial for them getting engagement on the floor. They do still have movement without them, but it is, uh, it does mean that front pulley is no longer functional. It's just, uh, it's just kind of dragging along there. They're essentially a one-wheeled robot at this point, but still able to move. There is no movement from the polyester team at all. Now Emulsifier able to walk itself, limp itself around the arena. I'm hearing no count at We're this call for, for a the count. count. There is a tap out that just happened. The so winner that is. is. Emulsifier. Matt Boris and Emulsifier with Team Bots FC. Look, they look so good in their jerseys. They are now, uh, I guess you could say they are the, the penultimate winners, but they mm -hmm. have one more match they have to do now. Five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Polyester is going to be sticking close together for this part of the match. You could already tell that's a big part of their strategy. Oh, that hit from Emulsifier on Esther was vicious. I don't know if Esther is going to come back from that at all. They were completely torn asunder. Yeah, we're seeing. Oh, there is a little bit of movement from Esther there. Yes, that robot is still in play. It has not been completely disabled. That back wheel on the on the right side of the bot completely removed. Wheel guard chunked apart. As you can see the bots FC team very pleased so far. Now they have to go in against Polly, the drum spinner bot, the uh, enlarged version, I guess you could say, of Polly Wog. If they're able to eliminate both of these bots and achieve a knockout this time at the competition, that would cinch it for them. I'm sure they would rather avoid that judge's decision if they can. Does look like they're having a little bit of drive side issues perhaps on Emulsifier as well. Oh no, is Polly uh, moving at all? Barely twitching, it is stuck up. I think that left front wheel is stuck on the front of the robot. Yeah, it's not functioning. The right side working well enough to translate, but just barely. However, Emulsifier is stuck up on its own block of foam. Yeah, so that's the one unstick Emulsifier gets here wow, in this grand big final. Hit. Big hit, Emulsifier getting launched back. Polyester is going to have to hope for one of those hits to get Emulsifier stuck. I don't know if it's going to happen. This is 19 pounds up against 30 pounds. Woo! Oh, and it's... Not and it even just, a little bit. No, oh, it has stuck itself. Can it work its way off the wall? It, it can. Work its way off the wall. Oh, just under no. a minute left. The Drive now struggling team. on Emulsifier. You can see the hearts jump out of the chest of the Emulsifier, or of the Polyester team, and then sink right back down when Emulsifier was able to work itself off the wall. Oh, Chunks coming off of Polyester now. Now with the damage that Polyester has received, it may be that losing that front wheel actually helps it. We'll have to see. Oh, an immense 
amount of energy exchanged. Polyester now struggling to move it all. I tap think that out. is a tap That's out. That's a tap out. The winner is But FC is now your 30 pound grand champion for 2022. What a victory. Absolutely amazing. What a great matchup for them for that final. Able to pull out the win against the amazing Team Ribot with Polyester. Matt Boris has been working so hard for this, he and his team. I am so happy for them. Emulsifier, just such a brilliant design. Big, beefy, powerful weapon, yet they're still able to drive in a very nimble manner. You can see this moment almost, almost cinched it for Polyester, where it was stuck a second time, or rather where uh, Emulsifier was stuck a second time on the wall. It was able to free itself, get back into the fray, deliver a few more hits, and that was it for Poly. You can see it twitching just a bit, its weapon spinning down. 30 pound champs here. This is a huge weight off of their chest. They just said, congratulations. First and foremost, before we even get to that, you guys get the, the full send award for being the most destructive bot. <laughs> more than just here. This is more than just you guys. This is also for your charity of choice. Go ahead and give us, bring us up to speed with what that's all about. Yeah, so we picked uh, Bots IQ. They do a lot for like high school students and stuff, uh, combat robotics stuff. So uh, very happy for them to be able to get this. And, uh, you know, I also just want to say a huge thank to my team today. Um, there is absolutely no way, even with three robots, we would have been able to get the robot back together and win this fight. So um, these guys have been such a huge help. So, Matt, we got a little something for you here before you uh, head back south for the winner. It's heavy. Be careful. All right, guys, Pose, you earned it! Yeah. Your 30-pound Grand Champions 2022.